Hi everyone and welcome to Fusion 360 Monthly Challenge 2018. Joining the challenge is very easy. All you have to do is forward your full name, school or a company name together with your Fusion 360 email to Autodesk Community Philippines at gmail.com. Let's inspect our 2D drawing. So here first observance is our challenge is symmetrical and the dimensions are referring to the center point of the circle heading back to fusion by hitting C the shortcut for our circle it will automatically bring us to sketch mode so we are asked what plane or planar face we'd like to sketch so let's select our XZ plane let's drop our center point here at the origin left click and a key in 30 hitting enter let's grab our line tool by hitting L and create the three line segments here left click left click left click and double left click hitting escape if you should 360 automatically added a constraint you may hover and select that constraint and delete it let's add constraints so this endpoint and our origin should be aligned vertically so let's head to constraints selecting horizontal vertical selecting this endpoint and our origin next this endpoint and our origin as well should be horizontally aligned so let's select this endpoint and our origin hitting escape to disable constraint let's add dimensions by hitting D Selecting this endpoint and this endpoint, move over to the left, key in 20. Selecting this endpoint, this endpoint, left click here to place the dimension, keying in 30. Selecting this endpoint and this endpoint, place our dimension here, key in 110. Let's select this endpoint and this endpoint, key in 35, selecting this point and this point, place our dimension here, key in 70, selecting this point and this point, key in 40, hitting escape, let's reposition our dimensions zoom out this time hitting s on our keyboard to grab our sketch toolbox typing a r c our intent is to locate and select three point arc let's drop our first point at the end point of this line left click here and left click here hitting escape now the center point this arc should be coincident with our origin so let's grab our coincident constraint select our center point and our origin in this instance we don't need to add a dimension for this arc it is because the distance from this point up to this point is already 110 which equals to the radius of our arc Hitting escape, let's grab our line, hitting L, create a line here, left click, left click, and left click, hitting escape, zoom in, hitting S, grabbing our three point arc once more, left click here, left click, left click, let's create the arc also in this lower portion, left click, left click and left click hitting escape hitting D for dimension selecting this horizontal line and this horizontal line key in for T hitting escape let's grab our constraints selecting vertical selecting our origin and this endpoint our origin and this point, our origin and this point, this end point and the center point of this arc, hitting escape, 
hitting D for dimension, selecting this arc, keying in 20. Hitting escape to disable dimension. Let's grab our constraints once more. Selecting vertical. Selecting our origin and this point. Our origin and the center point of the arc. Hitting escape. Let's grab our horizontal constraint. Let's make this point and the center point of our arc horizontal. Hitting D for dimension. Let's select this arc. The radius for this to be 30. Hitting escape. Hitting D once more. Selecting this vertical line and the center point or our origin. I'm going to key in 70. Hitting enter. Next, selecting this horizontal line and our center point. Let's place our dimension here. Key in for T. Hitting escape. So notice, our entities all turned into black, meaning they are fully constrained. Our next intent is to mirror all of the entities at the left going to the right. But first, we need a mirror line. So let's hit L for line. Quickly create a line from here up to here. Hitting escape. Let's reselect this line and turn this into a construction line by hitting X. Heading to sketch. Selecting mirror for the objects. So currently, I am in window selection mode. Currently, we have one object selected, which is our mirror line. So let's... Remove the selection by hitting X. Selecting objects, selecting all of these entities. Activating mirror line, selecting our vertical construction line. Selecting OK. Selecting stop sketch. And hitting E for extrude, selecting this profile. Direction to be symmetric. Let's pull this arrow up, giving this a thickness. I'm going to key in 5. Selecting OK. Adding to top view. Finally, based on our drawing, we have a fillet of 5. Hitting F to grab fillet. Making sure we are under window selection, hovering over these corners, creating a window selection. So notice my edges, creating a window selection. One selected, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. So creating small window selections. And finally, 15. The value to be 5. So notice our edges has now fillets of 5. Hitting OK. And congratulations for completing the April monthly challenge. This video is brought to you by MSI Workstations. If you are serious about 3D modeling, simulations, and rendering, then MSI Workstations is the beast. Increase your workflow efficiency with MSI Workstations. Thanks for watching and see you in the next Fusion 360 monthly challenge.